embryos and ivf so first of all karina thank you so much for having me on board uh, i'm very passionate about this subject so basically embryos are uh, they are the, the sperm and the egg fertilize to form an embryo so an embryo can be day 0 day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 day 5 so what we do in ivf is we take out the eggs we add add in the sperms and wait for fertilization to occur or we inject one sperm into the egg and wait for that to fertilize and then assess them they, on day 3 there will be eight cell on day 5 there will be a blastocyst so they they are the first step to becoming a fetus and then a baby so for us in the ivf lab we treat them like life for us they are life a potential baby thank you doctor for explaining so nicely what are embryos like like how many embryos are need to be transferred during the ivf procedure kitne embryos transfer karne padte hain to ivf mein you uh, generally protocol ye hota hai ki agar day 3 hai if it is day 3 to hum teen embryos transfer karte hain if it is day 5 to hum do embryos transfer karte hain kyunki day 5 ka implantation potential zyada hota hai ab the thing is why don't we just transfer one embryo because one embryo will give us a pregnancy rate of only 15 20% and the patient is spending a lot not all embryos are going to form a baby only some will form a baby so if we put in three our chances are higher of getting a pregnancy than if we put in one but advantage of putting in one is that you never end up with twins or triplets so uska bhi we have there are centers which are going on to single embryo transfer because patients do not want twins or triplets so thank you for clearing out this like what happens with the embryos that ain't used that are not used kya hota hai embryos ke sath ye embryos hum freeze kar dete hain okay so, like we transferred three and she is made seven so the other four are frozen we freeze them in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees By a technique called vitrification, these frozen embryos can remain frozen for a period of five years, ten years. Science has even seen that when they have thawed twenty-five-year-old embryos, they are just the same because they are at minus one hundred ninety-six degrees. However, our rules say that it should be five years. Currently, it's five years, but the new law uh, bill which has come in is allowing ten years. Uh, as you said, doctor, we you freeze freeze the embryos, right? So, what is embryo freezing? क्या होता है ये? Embryo freezing uh, एक technique होता है जिसमें हम micro fluid में embryo freeze करते हैं. So, my the, we take this vitrification fluid on a small straw and in that we add the embryos. We dehydrate the embryos. Embryos का जितना uh, you can say liquid होता है वो हम निकाल लेते हैं. उसको डिहाइड्रेट करके माइनस वन पे रख के उसको क्रायो कैन में जिसमें लिक्विड नाइट्रोजन है फ्रीज करके रखते हैं हर एक एम्ब्रियो का स्ट्रॉ लेबल्ड होता है पेशेंट का नाम लिखा होता है डेट लिखी होती है ताकि जब निकालना हो हमें पता है एग्जैक्टली exactly कौन से कलर का स्ट्रॉ कौन से लॉट में पड़ा हुआ है जो कि इस पेशेंट का है डिफरेंस बिटवीन गुड एम्ब्रियो एंड बैड एम्ब्रियो क्या डिफरेंस होता है एम्ब्रियो ग्रेडिंग होती है ना अब एम्ब्रियो ग्रेडिंग जो होती है वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज अ सब्जेक्टिव थिंग द पर्सन हु इज ग्रेडिंग इट विल बी अ लिटिल सब्जेक्टिव तो एम्ब्रियो ग्रेडिंग में हम देखते हैं कि एम्ब्रियो जब डिवाइड करता है इन हॉमनी सेल्स डज इट डिवाइड वेदर द डिवीजन इज इक्वल इन ईच ऑफ द सेल्स सपोजिंग इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर सेल्स ऑल फोर शुड बी इक्वल देन इट्स अ गुड एम्ब्रियो besides that if there is any fragmentation in that embryo if if the nuclei are not in the center or there is a abnormal shape of, of that embryo then we say that okay this is not grade 1 embryo this is grade 2 embryo so day 2 day 3 or day 5 pe hum ye embryos grade karte hain accordingly we write grade 1 grade 2 or grade 3 grade 3 we do not freeze because they do not have a potential grade 1 and 2 are frozen and uh, One thing we must understand is that this is a morphological grading. It means grading on the terms of how the embryo is looking. But genetic grading, we have not done that. That the embryo is genetically normal or not, that is not being graded. 
that is a whole lot of another science where we do an embryo biopsy and we do a pgd and we do a genetic analysis that is not grading that is just to see whether an embryo is normal or abnormal how does this transportation of embryos take place iska jo transportation hota hai kaise hota hai transportation into the body you are saying how do we yeah. do an embryo transfer yes exactly okay so from the dish we take the embryo we put it in a very thin catheter with micro liter of fluid ye jo catheter hai we put it into the uterus But it's a very very delicate procedure done under ultrasound guidance. So ultrasound पे हमें uterus दिख रहा होता है, हमें अपना catheter दिख रहा होता है, एक exact point होता है जहाँ पे हम in the uterine cavity we deposit that embryo. So we just shoot it with a syringe, we push it in, and we leave it there. It is marked by a bubble before and after of air. तो हमें एग्जैक्टली exactly पता होता है कि हमने बबल कहाँ शूट किया है एम्ब्रियो कहाँ लैंड किया है ग्रेजुअली वी रिमूव दैट कैथेटर एंड इफ इट इज डे थ्री एम्ब्रियो इट विल इम्प्लांट इन द यूट्रस आफ्टर टू डेज इफ इट इज अ डे फाइव एम्ब्रियो इट इम्प्लांट द नेक्स्ट डे डॉक्टर इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एम्ब्रियो ट्रांसपोर्टेशन राइट सो वॉट आर द रिस्क एसोसिएटेड विद एम्ब्रियो ट्रांसफर क्या रिस्क होते हैं जब एक एम्ब्रियो को ट्रांसफर करते हो आप सो पहला रिस्क तो ये होता है कि वेल द फर्स्ट एंड फॉर्मस्ट इज एन आई वी एफ फेलियर पेशेंट्स कम विद लॉट ऑफ होप सो ये काउंसलिंग जरूर करनी चाहिए कि हम एम्ब्रियो ट्रांसफर कर रहे हैं बट इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू प्रेगनेंसी इट मे इम्प्लांट इट मे नॉट इम्प्लांट एंड देर इज नो मेडिसिन टू मेक इट इम्प्लांट सेकेंड रिस्क इज दैट वेन बी ट्रांसफर मोर देन वन एम्ब्रियो इट इज पॉसिबल कि दोनों इम्प्लांट हो जाए या तीन किए हैं तो तीनों इम्प्लांट हो जाए सो शी मे एंड अप विद ट्विंस और विद ट्रिपलेट्स which is again a high risk pregnancy because best is a singleton pregnancy that goes to term twins ke apne risks hote hain and uh, third is that agar wo stimulated patient hai aur uske hormones bahut high hain and hum embryo transfer karte hain to possible hai ki hormones get even higher ovaries get hyperactive and it is known as a condition known as ovarian hyperstimulation these days any patient who has high hormones we don't transfer we freeze all and we transfer in the next cycle but in the previous years before this protocol came in people were transferring in the same cycle and ovarian hyperstimulation used to happen or we talked about risk associated with and we are talking about failure so what is embryo implantation failure kya hota hai ye so embryo implant is once we put the embryo in the uterine cavity mm-hmm. there is a you know dialogue between the embryo and the lining of the uterus okay we call it the endometrial embryo dialogue it it happens at the molecular level bilkul cellular level pe hota hai if that dialogue is good if the embryo and the endometrium are in sync that embryo will implant if there are no factors like let's say infection some subtle infection of course we rule out everything or some immunological factor which might hamper this implantation this embryo will implant if the quality of the embryo is good it will implant if the quality of the lining is good it will implant so there are a lot of factors which go into implantation implantation failure will occur if let's say the lining is more developed than day 5 and you're putting in a day 5 embryo so the lining has to be absolutely in sync as far as its hormonal status is concerned that will prevent implantation failure so your doctor has to be very clear on when how much progesterone is to be given before how many days before we transfer the embryo to prepare the lining so lining preparation in these cases is very very important 